Hey, this is Warren Redlich. What if Tesla got into the business of building homes? Tesla is already in the residential roofing business with Solar Roof. They're already talking about using the HVAC, the heat pump and the Model Y to get involved in heating, ventilation and air conditioning, which also would go into homes. So why not go all in? Why not use Tesla products and Tesla engineering to build houses and apartments better than the current industry does? If Tesla applies Elon's first principles engineering approach to the housing industry, they could lower costs, lower prices to consumers, reduce emissions, reduce use of fossil fuels. They could build faster, accelerate the transition to sustainable energy, and make the world a better place. I'd like to thank Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial and all my Patreon supporters for helping this channel improve and grow. This right now is an intermediate stage. I've got a new computer for video editing. I'm working on setting it up so you're seeing the intermediate stage. We're not done yet, but this is all thanks to Patreon supporters helping out. Patreon supporters get early access to my videos and they get exclusive content. So let's talk about what the amazing benefits would be if Tesla got into the housing industry. Tesla's ruthless engineering would lead to lower cost to build, lower prices to consumers, and quicker delivery. The use of Tesla solar would reduce or eliminate the energy costs to the residents. Tesla HVAC heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems using the Model Y heat pump or something similar would dramatically reduce the amount of energy usage and further reduce costs. The use of Powerwall or Megapack would eliminate blackouts. It gets more interesting when you consider other related products. Like what about RoboTaxi? What about people who plan on only using RoboTaxi and don't plan on owning a car? How about a zero garage option, which would dramatically reduce the cost of the housing if you don't need a garage? Homes could share Starlink connections. Probably three to five homes could use one Starlink connection and that would reduce internet access costs. A Tesla Villa housing development could use Megapack and ground solar to deliver the energy and the backup at lower cost than putting it on the roof. We'll talk about that later. Of course, residents would be able to add rooftop solar and power wall if they want. A Tesla housing development on a large scale could benefit by adding boring company tunnels. That would enable the residents to get where they want to go quicker and easier with less traffic. I'm going to get more into the numbers in a minute, but I wanted to talk about a few topics that come up when we talk about benefits. One of the topics is ground solar versus rooftop. Elon is really big on rooftop solar that as long as you're putting a roof on, you might as well put solar on it. What do you want the world to look like? When you look around the neighborhood, the future, decade from now, you know, what do you want? What, what products are going to make your life better? What, what future do you want? I think a future where we've got beautiful roofs with generating energy uh, that are tough and, tough and resilient and better in every way than a regular roof and alive with energy, that's the future we want. I've heard other people say that ground solar is less expensive. I don't know the answer. I do think it might make sense to build your building with a less expensive roofing material that's quicker to build and use ground solar, which is easier to maintain and maybe lower cost to set up. For a single family home that's not in a development with other homes, this makes less sense. But if you have a development with 100 or more homes, or even a smaller number of homes, it may make sense to share ground solar rather than putting solar on each roof. You could do both, but there may be some value in just having ground solar in the neighborhood. This makes more sense if land is cheap and it's easier to build your development with more land and then you have land left over where you can put your ground-based solar. Similar to the solar issue, instead of each home having power walls, it might make sense to have one community mega pack. A mega pack has three megawatt hours in its current design, where a power wall has 13 or 14 kilowatt hours. So each mega pack takes the place of about 200 power walls. So if each house is gonna have two power walls, then one mega pack would serve 100 homes. It might be a more cost-effective way to deliver energy, provide backup, and balance the load than having power walls in each home. And it might just be more cost-effective instead of having to install all those power walls in all those homes, you just set up one mega pack. In addition, 
for serving the grid, for doing the community serving the grid, uploading power to the grid when necessary, using that kind of balancing and using auto bidder, it would make more sense to use a mega pack than to do it on an individual home basis. And when I talk about HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, the heat pump might be able to do more than just heating and air conditioning. It might also be able to serve the hot water heater. It might also be able to serve for refrigeration. So that if you have a, instead of having a refrigerator, you might have a refrigerated room. It might even work for your oven or for heating your stove. I don't want to go too far with it, but there's a lot that you might be able to accomplish with a heat pump system that Tesla is going to use, the, basically from the Model Y, than to have an air conditioning system in one spot and a heater, a furnace in another spot, and then a water heater over here. And then, you know, maybe the, the, the clothes dryer could work with this heat. There's a lot of potential to use that heat pump and where you're generating heat in one place, you might be able to use that heat in another place where you're cooling the, the, the opportunity to use Tesla's technology to balance where you're heating and cooling reduces the waste of energy and makes the home much more efficient. The last thing that I think would be really cool is a Square Roots room. If you're not familiar with it, Kimball Musk has a startup called Square Roots where they put gardens in containers. They're about 40 feet long by eight feet wide or 320 square feet. What if you put, and that's used to grow vegetables inside and they're equivalent to two acres of farm. And so I went looking for farmers. I went looking for the young farmers in America and I found them, I found them in the cities. Young farmers are in our cities but they don't have land to farm. So we built something called Square Roots, which is an indoor urban farm platform that gives young farmers a farm in Brooklyn. We built 10 of these farms, literally in old used shipping containers. Each indoor farm is the equivalent of two acres of outdoor farming. So what if you had a 320 square foot room in your house? It wouldn't have to be that exact size. What if you had a room in your house that was dedicated to square roots type growing vegetables and you would have fresh vegetables all the time for yourself, for your neighbors, for your friends. You'd be able to produce food to make your life better and it's fresher food and it tastes better or what Kimball calls real food. So for this video, I'm just talking about the residential construction industry. It's a roughly $500 billion market in just the United States. It's a fractured market. There are some large builders, but the large builders are a very small share of the market. The biggest builders are DR Horton and Lennar, Pulte, KB Home, Meritage, Toll Brothers. There's, a, there's some others that are large builders, but the market is fractured. There's a lot of small builders. There's a lot of, there's not very many medium sized builders, and there's almost no big builders. So it's a huge market with very small players. Construction uses a huge amount of energy, a large amount of fossil fuels, and it's a huge emitter of carbon dioxide. If you're concerned about carbon dioxide, greenhouse gases, the construction process generates a lot of CO2. An important thing to realize about the construction industry, the residential construction industry, is it is slow and it is inefficient. The average construction time for a new home is somewhere between three and 10 months. So ballpark it, let's say it's seven or eight months. Tesla's relentless drive for engineering efficiency would dramatically reduce the time it takes from the time you start the home till the time you finish the home. Solar roof is especially exciting as we've gained significant experience over the last year in the installation process, which is a key enabler to scale the business. We've recently demonstrated our ability to complete solar roof in installation in just one day. Overall, our reduced installation time provides a better customer experience and will enable the business to grow exponentially as scale effects allow for increased efficiency. The next opportunity is improving the material flow on the job site. We've talked about this a lot uh, in the factory as well, that um, setting up the right packaging, kitting, so that every, every installer on the roof has the parts they need at their fingertips. You heard how Tesla thinks about solar roof and getting solar roof installed efficiently. Now think about applying that same analysis, that same engineering mindset, to the entire house or the entire apartment building. Elon tweeted about how impressed he was with prefabricated construction methods that were used for Giga Berlin. We've seen that Tesla has been able to build very large factories in Shanghai and Berlin in a very short amount of time. 
Imagine if they applied that same thinking to single family homes, townhomes, or apartment buildings, which are much smaller. There are so many parts and so many processes or sub processes that go into building a home. But we know Elon says the best part is no part and the best process is no process. The best part is no part. The best process is no process. It weighs nothing, costs nothing, um, can't go wrong. So as obvious as that sounds, the best, the best part is no part. Like the, my, the, the thing I'm most impressed with in, when I have the design meetings at SpaceX is what did you undesign? Undesigning is the best thing. Just delete it. If we can reduce the number of parts, if Tesla can reduce the number of parts being used to build a home, if they can reduce the number of processes involved that go into building a home, then the home gets built quicker and cheaper and better. We could expect that Tesla's engineering would reduce home construction times from say seven or eight months to one or two months. That's huge. Time is money. If you can reduce the time between when you incur the costs and when you receive the payment from the customer, that's a dramatic impact on how the business operates. Elon talked about that before with shipping cars and the delays it creates when you're not on the same continent. We also have consistent free cash flow generation. Uh, this is really important for growth. Uh, and and it, a key element here is tightening up the time from when a car is ordered to when it is built and delivered. For a company that is growing rapidly, it's extremely important to tighten the supply chain and to, to have from when from when parts arrive put it into a car very quickly and deliver the car very quickly to the customer and if if you can do that inside the the, the sort of your kind of uh, payables timeline then the, the faster you grow the more cash you have or conversely if you're unable to do it within your your payables timeline uh the faster you grow the less money you will have which is obviously bad so just tightening up and having the parts move very quickly uh to the factory put it in a car get it to a customer uh, makes a massive difference to cash flow generation. One of the really interesting things that Tesla could pull off is in conjunction with the Boring Company, use Boring Company tunnels to connect developments that Tesla builds to the cities or other destinations that people are gonna wanna go to from these homes. Using Boring Company tunnels would enable Tesla to choose land further out from city centers that would cost less and enable them to use more land. That lower cost of land also makes ground solar more effective if that's the direction Tesla wants to go. Everything I've seen suggests that Tesla is going to get the cost of tunneling down to about $5 million a mile. So if the Tesla development is, let's say, 10 miles outside of town and you build two tunnels, that's 20 miles of tunnels at $5 million a mile is $100 million. If the larger development that Tesla builds has 10,000 homes, that's an added cost of $10,000 a home that comes with a huge benefit. You're able to get to where you want to go faster, quicker, and cheaper. Hey, don't forget the merch. This says electric car, Denki shop, Denki shop. Elon, of course, Tesla Model S. This is a great t-shirt. This is my favorite t-shirt right now. Please check it out. So let's talk about the types of housing Tesla might build. One of the most popular types of housing here in America is single family homes. Figure a ballpark of $300,000 a home. It costs a lot more in some places, it costs less in other places, but just figure a ballpark of $300,000 a home. You could also see Tesla building townhomes or condos that might make more sense with the prefab construction techniques that are being used at Giger Berlin. You build a block and then you build the rest of the home inside the block. That might make sense. You could also see apartment buildings. One of the things about apartment buildings is if you are the owner of apartments and you have tenants renting from you, that typically means a steady income and it, has, it usually has a high return on investment. The amount of money you pay, people pay more for rent than they would pay for a mortgage and you end up making more money on a consistent basis with apartments. There are over 1 million new homes built a year in the United States of America. If Tesla was able to attain a 10% market share, which would be huge compared to anybody else right now, but if they were able to achieve that lower cost, high efficiency, delivering housing that people are going to like with lower energy costs and all the advantages, 10% might not be unreasonable. That would mean Tesla would be building 100,000 homes a year. 100,000 single family homes 
at $300,000 a piece would be $30 billion in revenue a year. That's about the revenue that Tesla is going to make this year, 2020, $30 billion. It's not necessarily a huge amount for where Tesla is heading in 2025 or 2030, but it's a good chunk and it's a good start. You could also picture Tesla building 30,000 new apartments a year. After 10 years, that would be 300,000 apartments. If the typical rent was $2,500 a month times 300,000 apartments, that's another $9 billion a year, or a total of $39 billion a year between the single family homes and the apartment rental income. You can add to that revenue that Tesla's gonna generate using auto bidder to work with the grid using the solar and the development and the energy storage devices in the development, whether they're power walls on your home or mega pack for the neighborhood, using that to generate additional revenue working with the local grid. When you put all that together, it's not crazy to think Tesla could make $50 billion a year in revenue with this method. And that revenue would end up being very high margin, especially the apartments. The most important thing about this idea is it would mean Tesla would be reducing the world's use of fossil fuels and accelerating the transition to sustainable energy. Check out the merch. We got all kinds of t-shirts. This is a Tesla electric vehicle. It says, elect it's, it says electric vehicle in Japanese with Elon underneath and a Model S. So check out my videos, please subscribe, share this video with your friends, and most of all, in the comments, let me know what you think. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the idea of Tesla entering the housing industry. Do you think they could also enter the commercial building industry? How much of an impact could Tesla make on the environment by doing this, and how much money could they make? Thank you for watching.